Welcome to H&B Farm in beautiful Kamloops, British Columbia. It's time to pay some tribute to our beautiful boys, uh, the horses that our farm is named after. Um, and I thought I'd just spend a little bit of time talking about horse care um, and these wonderful animals that we are lucky enough to have here in our lives. Um, they are the best horses uh, you could ever buy or find. Gentle, calm, funny, uh, just really, really good friends and would never hurt a soul just super easy to be around. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Good morning. Um, today I'm going to talk to everybody about basic, basic horse care. So keep in mind, um, we don't show our horses, we don't, we just ride them here and there. We have two little kids, we haven't had a lot of time for them. Used to show them, they used to stay in stalls in a barn, um, they used to be super spoiled. Now they're pets, they get great care, um, but this is, wouldn't be how you'd care for like an Olympic jumper or anything. This is just your sort of average backyard pony don't tell them I said that they think they're superstars um, but yeah we'll we'll go through just the basic things because some people think it's super complicated and it's actually not that complicated okay so first introduction this is Hazer um, Hazer is a registered American Quarter Horse actually they both are um, he is his show name is a famous conspiracy his father was a famous Amos very famous stud in uh, Ontario London Ontario so Hazer was born in London Ontario um, he's reigning trained, um, but now due to a stifle injury is just my trail horse uh, on days that he can handle it. So we're hoping now that um, the babies are a bit older, I can start working on some rehab with him. He's a bit annoyed with me right now because he wants to go out in his field. Um, but I'll just show you when I say stifle injury, it's like kind of like their knee. So it's like in this area here, um, he slipped and hurt himself. So I've just been trying to work with him on that. But um, in the mornings, what we like to do is get everybody out. We feed them and we do a quick check to make sure uh, that they're feeling well, no cuts. I always do a walk around, no cuts, no lameness, except for a stifle injury. Um, and as you can see, he's like, feed me and let me out. Good boy. This is B-Man, uh, Brazil. He's Jeff's horse. Um, he's a saint, absolute saint. Anyone can ride him. Quiet, 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 quiet. Uh, but then, will also go, like he gets up and goes for me. Um, I love riding him when Hazer's sore. Uh, I told Jeff the other day, he's gonna be my horse soon. You can just see how quiet he is. Nothing phases him. Um, he's beautiful, has some roaning in him. You can't see it at the moment, which just means flecks of white. Um, in the summertime, he's just a stunning red color. And his name is Double Done Trouble, his show name. He's got uh, cutting, raining, Team penning blood and he absolutely loves chasing cows. Brazil, and he's untying himself right now. Stop it. Anyways, they could untie themselves and they won't go anywhere. They're both just absolute angels. We love them. Wow. What do they eat? Hay, hay, and more hay. We have square bales for them, um, alfalfa grass mix and we just picked up some round bales because there's a major hay shortage right now in BC. Um, you can see my super tacky gates. We never had these before until I got the goats because if we don't have the gates up, the goats will just destroy everything. Um, but that's what they eat. So we give them some in the morning, they get lunch, they get dinner, and then they get a snack before bed. If we're not gonna be around, we just give them extra. And we kind of just judge on their weight. They're both fat, um, which is fine. important note is water so water is super super important um, in the summer it's easy um, very very easy for us to to get water uh, but in the winter it's tricky so we just uh, did a dump of the water troughs yesterday got all the gunk out um, so it's nice and clear today we like to do that regularly for them it's just nicer and you can see there's a water heater there just to keep it from freezing it floats around uh, but we check their water several times a day. Um, very, very important to keep their digestive system moving. Just like us, we need water. We need water to live. Ah! 
shelters that the boys have. Um, they can come in and out of here. Don't worry, we fixed the board. In the daytime, or at night, sorry, they have shelter from the sun and the rain. It's a great spot, it gets sun in the morning, so they like to tan in here um, on days like today. But I kicked them out in their field and I've cleaned up their pen with the wheelbarrow. And that's about it. That's all we have to do. Again, basic, basic, basic. Here we have what's called a shedding blade. Um, this actually works well for the dogs and the goats too. Um, I use it to get mud off gently. You can use a curry comb as well. Um, so we use that. A soft brush will help to remove dust and dander. Um, and then a hoof pick. We have tons more brushes, uh, but usually if I'm just going for a quick ride, I just grab these three things. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to demo how to use this. So here's the brush. Sorry for all the noise in the background. Um, you can see Hazer's got some dirt. You just drag, oh, I'm not getting it. You just drag it down his bum, like this. And all the dirt comes off. And in the spring, I'll show you a shedding video because it's, I'm addicted. I love getting their hair out. Uh, but you just brush them off, get them all nice and shiny. Okay, so we'll do some brushing of B-Man. So the soft brush is nice for their face, their chest, their legs. Oh, look at B. He's like, brush me. And he loves being brushed right here. He usually smiles, but he won't right now. But you can just see, you just gently go in the direction of their hair, get them all smoothed out. Um, and they love it. They love the attention. Okay, my pants are terrible in the next clip. Uh, they're my wonderful, comfortable Kate Spade pajamas from Costco. I highly recommend you get them. When I'm filming these videos, I have such little time that the girls are napping that I just run out and do it. So I sincerely apologize. I will try harder next time. Terrible pants. This is how we clean out their feet. So you just pick up his foot, you go around, they have a little frog. I'll try and show that in one second here. Their feet are long, they need to be trimmed. But we're just gonna clean out all the muck, check for rocks, because we don't want to get any bruises. Let me just see if I can show you here. And see, you can see his foot um, nice and clean there. So we like to check their feet regularly and make sure that they're in good shape. And we get them trimmed every six to eight weeks. You might be asking why our horses don't have shoes. Uh, they're barefoot because they don't need them for the limited amount of riding that we do. They do really well barefoot. But if we were riding more or showing, we would put shoes on them. Even though our horses don't wear shoes, you still have to get a farrier out, a professional to trim their feet so they don't get overgrown. Deworming your horses is very important um, and make sure you keep parasites under control. Uh, we follow a schedule that's been set out here in BC, um, but you need to look at how many horses you're around if you're going to shows and test for parasites if you're concerned. Horses' teeth keep growing, so you need to check to see if they need to be filed. Um, we sedate them and the equine dentist or the vet comes out and takes care of this for us, usually once every two years for our guys. And obviously if there was any problems, he'd come out. We clean up manure daily, uh, only takes 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna demo how to pick up poo with one hand. So, take a fork, and shove it under the poo, shake it a bit, get the shavings out, that's it. See? Magic. There I go on the farm, cleaning up poo, walking the dogs, going in the kitchen. Eclipse is always with me. I am so glad we bought this little girl. Can't wait for her babies. Hi, little Remy wanted to join me for this portion. She's a big sack. Um, so the final thought is around manure. So you're probably thinking, wow, you clean up that much poo every single day? What do you do with it all? Well, we pile it up and we use it as fertilizer. So like they said in fried green tomatoes, secrets in the sauce. 
that's how we grow such amazing fruits and vegetables here on the farm. Um, we've got quite a bit this year, so I think I might bag some of it up and give it away to people um, for their gardens. Duncan, sorry about the whining dog. He's just being a little sad today. Um, but yeah, we might bag it up and sell it to people for a very minimal amount and donate. I was thinking of donating all the money that we get for it to charity, maybe the Humane Society or something like that, um, or the Therapeutic Riding Stable. But, um, you know, cheap price, five bucks a bag, and then donate the money. But we certainly use a lot of it for our own garden here in our lawns. So uh, nothing gets wasted here, that's for sure. So that's it. You can see they're pretty happy living here in BC. They spent most of their lives in Alberta, um, but very, very, very happy to be here. They love the warm weather. Uh, we have blankets for them, but we never bother because they hair up nicely and we never see them shivering. Um, and it's better to leave them without blankets so they can naturally adapt. But yeah, they're, they're a couple of happy, happy boys. We love them very much. And you know, our farm is H&B Farm and that's Hazard in Brazil. So it's named after them.